Hello everyone, this is Nick the Man, and this time around I'm bringing you guys some gameplay with Baltic Front Motorized. Um, looks like we're going to be playing against uh, Algeria Force on Mudfight. Mudfight's not a particularly great map for this deck, I feel. And I'm not familiar with the player we're going against, so I'm not entirely certain what to expect from them. Um, I think what we will do... So we're going to grab a spike team for middle, have a recon team for middle, as well as for AA. We're going to send some KTs just down this road over here, just because it's something that people don't tend to reinforce very well, and if he's going to leave it completely open and we can punish him for it, I am quite willing to do so. Otherwise, we will leave a uh, BMP-1 TGAJ with the Conquerors, just to make it difficult for him to move up. The uh, stealth plus ATGM means he's going to have to over-invest um, definitely more than 35 points in order to make a push there. Um, as far as this section goes, we're going to get two spike teams. We're going to get two of these recon teams. We are going to get an ITO to make sure he doesn't try to uh, shut down our motorized opening with helis. I want to get one of the spikes and recon teams into the, in somewhere in here, probably into these uh, tree lines, whereas I wanted to get the other one into the town sector. Uh, for actually fighting in the town, contesting his infantry, we have these uh, Gartin Yakari, which are quite, quite good at uh, fighting within uh, town blocks. We have Yakari 90 to um, deal with... The K specifically for the KTs, but also his meat shields. We're going to get a Salamandra, so we can... I'll take a look at his opening a little bit early. Um, a tank, and we still have 140 points to play around with. Um, I'm thinking I should hold on to at least a little bit of that, as... Uh, just in... Uh, in case he tries anything uh, cheesy with helos, I should also probably get a Mortar. Hmm. Right, we're going to get a MI-17, actually. Delete that CV. And... Hmm. We get an MI-17. In case he uses a motorized open AR opener of his own, and we can perhaps punish that a bit. And we should also probably get a mortar. But I'm debating whether or not to get the mortar at the very start, or to open up with, like, uh, a sulkle to prevent heli drops. But I think our ITO will handle heli drops just fine. Tow 2 carrier would also be nice at the opening on this map. And if we were to hold on to the points, we'd be able to get a rocket plane for his opener. And stun up anything wheeled and get into the town, basically guaranteed. I think we're going to hold on to the points. I don't think smoke is going to be as essential in the the early opener for us, because we don't have any very heavy tanks that we need to smoke off. And I think, I think we're okay. I think we actually are going to get one of these instead of uh, one of those Musty Squads, though. He's using command infantry because of the delay in his capping of the zone there. It's good information to have. We get this ITO over there. Actually, maybe even back there will be sufficient for the start. I want to get one of the recon teams up there. Maybe even over there, I think. Let's see, TGB-13s. That's an interesting choice. Get you in there. Fast move those up there. Get those into position. 
Moosty will get in there. Oh, we need to get an ASF. One hit. Oof. Giant had 13 and Nordland's Jaeger. Interesting choices. There we go, his ASF goes down. I'm gonna bring this back and rearm. I'm gonna get the semi 17 forward. Jesus. Need more KTs. Go for an ass, that's gonna be problematic. as well. I think, however, the Karten Yukari are doing excellent, excellent work here. Yeah, Karten Yukari holding their own very well here against the Nordland Jaeger. We're going to move them into CQC if we can get them to do so properly. We're going to move this uh, KRKK up. There we go. That KRKK is doing well as well. Get semi-17 over here. Get that mini-17 over there. There we go. KT is doing very well. Milan F2. We have, however, killed a lot of his AA, so I think uh, it would be just fine to bring this MI-17 over, and we'll actually get another one. These uh, rocket pods will do quite well. Ooh, that's uh, AMX-10s. I don't want to bring anything too close, but I'm going to bring that Salamandra over. And he does have AA still. He's this Tansim we didn't kill. Might have to use a rocket plane on it, actually. The Salamandra should do fine. I'm gonna bring these uh, infantry back from the town edge. We will get a uh, Team is there. And his uh, ATGM team is somewhere back there. What we really need to do is get more spikes here. The town. Back there, we're gonna get a squad of defer defense. Get the semi 17 back there and rearm. We're gonna unload you. Now we're gonna lose this spike team. TGB 13s again. We're going to see if we can hit the. Oh, no, it's going to have to evac shortly. We're going to need another one. I think it's worth it here. Kill the North Lums Jaeger. Load you. Get you up. Get you up as well. This MiG 21MF should do well. There we go. It goes down, but I think that's worth it in holding onto that section. We have these KTs moving up. And get this Yakati forward, because I think he uh, may have overextended there. Unload you in a defensive position. AMX 10s again. We'll see if these can get close enough to deal with it. I think. I think that actually might be okay. We're in a rocket plane, this uh, AA piece there. I 
Get some supplies for this spike. There it is. Hit that. Thank you. And we're gonna get out more rocket planes if he doesn't have a uh, proper AA net here. Stun should allow them to get into cover here. And he still has a Mistral team back in here somewhere, but I think they're out of ammo at this point, actually. And we're just going to keep punishing him. Bring the Salamandra forward, because he no longer has an AA net. Get you forward. Get this MI-17 back and rearmed. Like this. Mistral team hits once, and yeah, it is right back there. Are those TGP 13s because they're completely, completely unarmored and they only have 5 HP. These rocket planes are really, really devastating against them. We're actually going to fast move this away. We're going to get this BMP up though. Get these spikes forward. Ooh, that's not good. I'm actually not going to tell him. Um, if he knows we're moto, it means he's going to start bringing out heavier tanks. But uh, I think he's likely playing mixed moto as well. There we go. He's at my 17s doing really, really nice work here. I'm going to get a second CV shortly because I'm worried about him doing like a blind bombing or something. We're going to get this back. Get this infantry forward. Get this my 17 back as well. I think we're actually going to need another one of these Salamandras. Because they've been doing pretty well. We're going to lose this BMP one, though. It's too close to his AMX tents. Spikes rearmed. That's good. We'll just keep moving up here. Get another pair of supply trucks over there. Yeah, the Kokons and Recon should deal with these unprotected AMX tents. And our next purchase is going to be a CV. Because I don't want, I, as I said, I don't want them blind bombing anything of mine. But uh, we are doing quite well here. Let me get this over there and heal up those Karatin Yukari. Actually, we're going to heal the uh, Erex Yukari up front. We're going to fly this closer. So we're going to hit this reinforcement. Those reinforcements coming in over there. And 35 is recon. And there we go. 35 should go down and all the infantry inside should go down as well. MI-17 should do well killing these TGB-13s. We're going to strike that Mistral squad and bring these helos forward. We're going to get this MI-17 back now that it's done killing his infantry and get this uh, back as well. We're going to get our CV. We're going to get two of those BMP-1Js. That Mistral team should be dead now. Yeah, got the hardened, so... Now we're in a very, very good position, and I don't think there's a way for him to come back into this. We are... Uh, Incredibly, incredibly far ahead of them in terms of points right now. Yep, GG. I think what he lacked there was uh, another long-range AA piece. So we may oh, he actually started with two. He did start with two, but uh, we killed one with one of our KTs when we moved it up, and uh, we punished the other one with the uh, 
the MiG-21 MF once we had located it. Tow 2 carrier didn't do all that great, actually. It made good use of smoke. IT-090 definitely paid itself off and killed the injured Tornado F3 and was able, actually able to take out the current ass from full HP. That's a lot of AMX tons. Well, this one was a little bit short, but uh, hopefully it satisfied some of your Wargame Red Dragon gameplay craving. Till next time, folks.